Good evening, everybody, and welcome to a sold-out Dickhauser Stadium on the campus of Florida State for a regional final baseball game between the host, number eight national seed, Florida State, and the regional three seed, UCF Knights. You are watching the NCAA Baseball Regionals presented by Capital One. We'll take a look at our bracket here in Tallahassee. UCF, the three seed, able to come from behind and take down Stetson to force a rematch of last night's game here in the regional final. If the Seminoles win tonight, they will head on to the Super Regional. And if UCF wins, we will have a decisive game seven tomorrow. With that, we say hello once again up here in the booth alongside the big league all-star, Greg Olson. I'm Sam Rabbits. Great to have you along with us tonight. So, Greg, we get a rematch from the winner's game last night. UCF, though, had to play an extra game earlier today. Florida State could not be positioned better to win this game. Oh, you're totally right. They have pitched, they have used three pitchers. Right. Carson Dorsey goes eight and two thirds. Jamie Arnold was flat special. And out of the bullpen, one guy, Brennan Oxford. And so they are locked and loaded right now for this game. They're ready to go. Florida State, though, didn't have a ton to smile about last year. Talk about a turnaround. Last year, they uh, had the first losing season in program history in 2023. They missed the NCAA tournament for the first time since 1977, but fast forward to this year, they got out to, out to a 19-0 start. They were the last unbeaten team in Division I, and now they are a top eight national seed for the 12th time. That is the most since seeding was introduced in 99. Cam Smith, big reason why they were able to win the game last night. Quick turnaround after an 0-5 start to the regional, Greg. Yeah, he turned it around quickly. Kite Cod, MVP. One of the top draft picks at third base and had a big night last night. Couple singles, big home run to get the party started in Tallahassee. Well, UCF almost wasn't playing in this game. They were trailing in the bottom of the seventh and then a pinch hit RBI double from Andrew Sundin. That would tie up the game. And then the captain, Jack Ziska, a two run blast to put him up by a pair. He's had a really good regional. Braden Calise added another solo shot in the eighth. And that would uh, make it five to three, five to two. We had a rain delay in that game in Central Florida, able to close it out after an hour and a half weather delay. Jack Ziska, look at those numbers, Greg. Seven for 11, a homer and three doubles. That's what you expect and hope for out of your captain. He started out a couple of doubles, the game one, another double, good night the second day. The day, big two-run home run in the seventh inning to blow the gap open. This is a big one. If UCF loses, they are going home. If Florida State wins, they are heading on to a Super Regional to host baseball here next week as the road to Omaha continues next. 